Bill Simmons, who I I don't dislike Bill Simmons. I think Bill Simmons does a pretty good job. He mm-hmm. caused a little bit of ruckus this week by saying he's got sources that he's hearing from that says the Lakers are probably going to trade Anthony Davis by the deadline. And I'm like, part of me doesn't really see that coming together. Mm-hmm. I can't see them making the monetary investment and sticking with him through all the injuries and stuff he's dealt with to trade him now because you're off to a slow start. But it's not even just that. It's what's the compensation going to get back? Because most teams look at Anthony Davis like, dog, you're damaged goods. Every time you – we don't know when you'll play. Yeah. I have a hard time seeing the Lakers moving Anthony Davis. I really do. Well, it's, the thing is, what are you going to get back from who's out there? You know, he's from Chicago. And, you know, Zach Levine wants to come to L.A. And, you know – um, What's the guy who just gave the ref the finger last night? Um, oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Like, yeah. I, I can't think of his name, I but I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Hey, but that's, hey, if you give me those two for AD, I'll send AD on his way. Because, really? Because, yeah. Because you think about it. The Lakers don't have a dynamic score like Zach Levine. You, you look at the Lakers, who can score off the dribble right now? Nobody. LeBron, maybe, because he can go and bully people and get to the rack. But there's nobody that can create their own shot on the Lakers. Right. Zach Levine can create his own shot. No, that's true. That's yeah, true. good point. All right. Now, the Bulls wouldn't do that. No. You never know. I, it, it, if this was a – see, I'll put it to you like this. We always preference things with Anthony Davis with when he's healthy. <laughs> which is a which is a stretch, which is not much of a stretch which because is like he's like twenty ra- games a year, right? We all know when he's healthy and he's playing the way we want him. He's a top five talent in the league. He's been that way for a long time. The problem is you're banking on what could be instead of a, instead of recognizing what is, and that's what a lot of teams will look at. How many games am I going to get out of this guy, and how much production am I going to get out of him when he is on the floor? So would you do that if I said right now, I if you give me A D a pick, you give me Vucevic and, and Zach Levine, exactly. would you do that trade if you rob Palinka? Would I do it? Yeah. Oh uh, I would. I would. I can they throw well, I, I would, yeah. I'm not gonna nitpick on the picks. I know the Lakers <laughs> are big on yeah. oh, we don't want to move any more picks. We barely yeah. have any picks. Yeah, yeah, I would. So if, at this point, you've got to do something, right? I don't think the Bulls do it though. Yeah, the Bulls wouldn't do it, but I, I know, I, of course not. I, I send I send him back to Chicago and get those two because you could get two for one. You know, but you you if you're Rob Palenka though, don't you? Aren't you starting to feel like you got to do something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if it's just something small, it's. Something. No, it, it can't. It can't be anything small because right now I, I think the lake the Lake of Faithful are looking at that bench man like. We don't know about on this bench. Can I tell you Ooh. what I think? Can I tell you what Ooh, I think? Done anything. What you got? And this may be, I don't know if it's so much of a stretch, but it might be a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> um, I read a report where uh, it said that the Lakers, and you know, they kind of moved away from the Pacers trade and the, the possible Utah trade, the ones they've been exploring all offseason. Yeah. They're waiting on something bigger to become available. And let me tell you what I think that bigger is. Kevin Durant. They're waiting on Kevin Durant to become available because I think Brooklyn, with all the Kyrie stuff, I think Brooklyn is so out on Kyrie right now. I think the um that just hiring Jacques Vaughn and not hiring uh MA kind of may have thrown him off a little bit as well. And I think KD is gonna start looking around and saying, you know what? Ben Simmons is a, is a stump on a log over here. He's sitting over here with everybody else. He ain't no help. Do I really want to be here? And if I think Brooklyn at some point well, he, in time, it's clear he doesn't want to be there in right, the offseason. Right. But then he changed his mind. Honored right. his contract. Is now, what he did. He didn't change his mind. But now I think it's, it, it makes it easier for him to say with all these things now, it's like, yo, do me a solid and, and get me up out of here. You're Ooh. not going to get equal value. So that if I'm the nasty. Lakers, <laughs> go get, if I'm the Lakers, I say, okay, you're not going to get equal value if without Never. depleting. So we'll give you Russ, and we'll give you the two future first round picks, and you give us Kevin Durant. That's not enough. That's not I, enough. I, how about this? What if we throw in AD and you throw in Kyrie? 
and then we do the you do <laughs> take Kyrie then you and really KD. Do full swap. <laughs> oh man, the Nets just want you to take Kyrie Irving at this point. Just go, just, just, just you can have them. You can just have them. You might only play hey, 10, 15 games a year at this point. What hey, what would they what would you do if they say, okay, give us KD and Russ, and we'll give you AD and Kyrie? I mean, Katie, not AD. Katie. I know. Katie, I don't, Kyrie, yeah. I don't AD, think the, and Russ. I don't think the Lakers want Kyrie. Not anymore. But I think they would take Durant in a heartbeat if yeah. Kyrie was the, if Kyrie was the offset to that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because you get – now here's the thing about Kyrie Irving. I, I, we've talked about this many times. I, I think Kyrie Irving is a hell of a player. Absolutely. When he is on his game, his handles are tight. He is an amazing ball handler. He knows how to score. He's, it's just all the off the court crap that yeah. no one wants to deal with. And you're in Brooklyn. So you're in New York. You're in a big media spotlight. You're not losing anything going to LA. It's still an equally big media spotlight. Yeah. So I think the trade is, is even in the sense of, do you get more out of him in LA? But the upside of Kyrie Irving to me yeah. is way better. And, you know, KD played with Steph and won two. Now he gets a chance to play with LeBron and see what he like you never would have imagined LeBron and Katie playing on the same. He does not want that. Uh -uh. He does not want that. He doesn't want that. He wants to be the guy. It ain't worked for him being the guy. Oh, I know it hasn't worked, but that's not what he wants. He wants to be the guy. I want some stuff too, but I ain't got. It. <laughs> hey, I wanted to win the lottery, and it was the <laughs> ticket was sold five miles from my house. Oh, was it? Really? Why did I go buy the ticket from that place right there? Hold oh, on, was it? Hold on, you talking about the one point nine? Yes, it was oh, sold five dude. miles from my house right here in Altadena. Uh, 